Hi guys and welcome. I'm Philip Ings from RoboPhil.com and on this video we're doing an interview with Aaron Kidsty from Railspace. We managed to speak to Aaron at the iRobot 2015 robot exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. Railspace, based at STFC's Rutherford Appleton Laboratory, carries out an exciting range of world-class space research and technology development. They have significant involvement in over 200 space missions and are at the forefront of UK space research. We managed to speak to Aaron about rail space and the robot called Surveyor Rover. Hi guys, uh, Philip English. So we're on the British Embassy stand um, here at the Japan Show. Uh, we're here today uh, speaking to Rail Space, and uh, we've got Aaron here, who's going to give us uh, a quick overview of some of the robots um, that Rail Space are working on. Very, very interesting UK company. Um, so Aaron, can you introduce yourself, and could you tell me a little bit more about Rail Space? If that's okay. Of course. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Aaron Kijdi and I work at uh, RAL Space uh, STFC. Um, our main uh, company uh, goal is to design instrumentation for spacecraft missions, uh, big uh, science missions for European Space Agency, NASA and uh, other countries as well. Uh, but in uh, my group, the Autonomous Systems Group, we build uh, robotic platforms to support uh, planetary exploration and research into the novel technologies that are needed for planetary exploration and in other uh, autonomous uh, navigation systems here on Earth or, or uh, out in the solar system. Okay, that makes sense. So, so rail space, obviously, as, as you explained, it, it's split into many different departments, uh, and this is the autonomous side. What other departments are there at rail space? Uh, so within the space technology and engineering division, uh, we also have uh, uh, mechanical engineers, thermal engineers, uh, assembly testing and integration um, for the actual space missions. Most of the other group uh, focus on the hardware for the spacecrafts and the instruments. Uh, we have an Earth observation group, uh, we have a space physics and a data uh, group. Okay. And we also have a ground station uh, on site, so we can uh, talk to space missions. Wow. Okay. So a whole sort of host of, diff of different areas all collaborating together to make, you know, I suppose different types of projects, different types of robots. So. Yeah, that's right. We also have a imaging group, and uh, in fact, we produce uh, most of the detectors for the high-class uh, science missions. Even NASA is buying the uh, detectors from us uh, for the uh, space telescopes. And then I suppose like once you've done the research, once you develop the product, and then hopefully the end goal is to like sell it as a commercial product, and you know, and sell it out in, in, in into the public. Is uh, so we mainly focus on research as part being uh, one of the research councils, uh, but uh, nowadays economical impact is is key of uh, every research project, and we look at uh, how down the line or or uh, uh, products can be used as a commercial product either in industry or, or even uh, sold to the general public uh, and in many cases for education. Uh, we, we want to support education uh, with our work but also with uh, some of the technologies we develop. If they have an application uh, we want to exploit that and, and make sure that uh, we can interest uh, young people in the science and engineering. Okay, fields. I mean just so interest, um, do you know how big rail space is like people wise? We have about 260 people in our space. Okay, yeah, and you're based in Oxfordshire, is that right? That's correct, uh, we are in Oxfordshire. Uh, the closest city is actually Didcot, okay. but the science campus is called uh, Harvell Oxford. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of uh, other things going on uh, in the space. Uh, we have uh, the new European Space Agency base, uh, the, the first uh, ESA base in the UK wow. is, uh, is there. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, all the other STFC facilities, like the diamond light source and uh, the particle accelerator ISIS. Wow. Okay. Um, we have cryogenics research, uh, high power laser research, and uh, we also have the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority on site, wow. as well as uh, many uh, startups and small companies. Okay, no, that's really impressive, really impressive. So, obviously, uh, today we're, we're going to have a look at one of the robots uh, that's going to come out. Um, so, we've got it to your left. Um, so, what's the name of this little, 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 little fella? So this robot is uh, called the Surveyor. Uh, we designed it for our outreach uh, activities. Um, to when we go to schools or when schools visit us, uh, we do a lot of work with, uh, with the kids. Uh, so we wanted uh, kind of a fun, uh, engaging platforms for them to, to use. 
but in fact we are using a, a quite uh, sophisticated electronics board inside. This uh, small board is driving all the functionality of the robot okay. and uh, this is the same electronics that we use on all our bigger platforms as well. Wow, okay. So even though it's a small fun robot, it's quite capable and you can program it to do uh, various uh, autonomous uh, behaviors and even uh, visual navigation. It's awesome in there as well. Right, that sounds very interesting. So, um, so obviously, so you guys have built this. It's got the special board, and now you're selling it as uh, as, a, as a product throughout the UK. Um, what sort of price range? I mean, and what, what sort of price range? And can you build it as a kit? Is the question. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we licensed this technology to a company called Active Robots, who okay. is uh, manufacturing and retailing it uh, for uh, three hundred pound. Pound, yeah. And it's uh, it comes as a flat pack, uh, your IKEA robot, <laughs> oh, okay. and uh, you can uh, build it quite easily. It takes uh, maybe a couple of hours. Uh, we actually have an instructional video on how to build it as well, and uh, how to connect up all the electronics. Right. And uh, it's it's aimed at really people who also want to tinker with it afterwards. So we're not actually using all the capability and all the output of the board. It is possible to add uh, more components, more sensors, without adding any electronics. Expand it out. Okay. And like, what sort of age range would it start? W would this be, I suppose, um, 10 years, 12 years up sort of thing? Or could it go lower than that? It is more, more aimed at uh, 12 years and, and upwards, uh, and maybe even university students. So uh, our initial idea was that there's quite a lot of uh, support for people who want to uh, get started. There's the Raspberry Pi, there are Arduinos. Uh, they are great ways to learn about this stuff. Yep. Uh, but maybe there isn't that much support for the next level. Someone who already know the basics and now want to produce something nice and compact and really want to bring everything they have in a, in a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino together into a quite small and, uh, and nice uh, platform. Okay. And uh, there just wasn't uh, anything that they could do. They had to design their own electronics if they wanted the next step. Right. So we wanted to offer as much functionality as possible in a very, very small package. Right, brilliant. Well, this is it. I mean, it sounds like you guys at Railspace do a brilliant, brilliant job. Um, what, what I'll do then, I'm going to keep an eye on you guys and, and we'll probably come back and maybe go see them like in the UK. Um, but yeah, I mean, thanks for like the overview of Railspace and thanks for the overview of that little kit. I mean. And it, and it looks like you guys in, in in the future are going to be developing a lot of stuff for 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 the UK and for the market. So absolutely, this is this is just the start, kind of the first uh, first little guy. Uh, but we have a, a few more robots that are in the, in in the plans, and uh, hopefully we'll be coming out soon. Okay, brilliant. Well, uh, thanks for your time, Aaron. It's very much appreciated. Thank you very much, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant, thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the interview and I want to say a big thank you to Aaron Kidgesty from Railspace for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about Railspace, I'll put in the links below for your review. Now if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.